Now, Ian, you're bat you, you started at improv with like Rachel Dratch and... and uh, yes, I, I started um, at the, the Second City in Chicago with... Um, uh, woo! I got hired with Chris Farley and Stephen Colbert and uh, a bunch of other really famous people. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> done much better than me. Uh, no. no. Yeah, but that was, uh, that was kind of what my, my, my upbringing there. That was my college kind of, I didn't go to college, so that was kind of my college years. I drank a lot of beer. It was fun. But Chicago, I mean, what you gotta drink beer. <laughs> and now you've traded up to wine. Uh, how much improv is there on Cougar Town? It seems... Um, well, it, you know, it's not a lot. It's, you know, it's written so well uh, that there's no need to do improv, but, but Bill's so great where he uh, is like, well, let's do it this way, and then if you come up with something, you know, let's try that. Uh, he's, uh, he's not, you know, super protective of it must be said this exact way. We say it that way, and then, you know, let's try something else. Or like, he'll come up with a suggestion on the fly, we'll try that. If someone else comes up with a suggestion, there's no ego about that. So it makes it very free uh, that you can be creative, and uh, that makes it so much easier to work. And Ian's well, being nice, you know, because, and respectful, because uh, I think the writing staff is super talented, and, but every actor here, um, has had numerous moments that people have come up to Kevin or me and the other writers and said, uh, you know, and, uh, that's really funny. And even though we knew that they made it up on stage, we just go, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why I mean, we're, we're able to do that is because we're given the freedom yeah. to, to, to And to it's do written that. so well that it, if you come up with something, it is in the vein of what the writers have yes, come up with, but it's absolutely. very rare. But I think it also is because Bill, will say if something's written and it doesn't work, he'll say it's not working. So we have full trust. You don't have to do anything like tanking jokes or, um, you know, that's when you do a joke not well, so then it won't work. I mean, because Bill will say it doesn't do work. <laughs> but you guys don't know this, but that, you see, that would be a practice that even if you were on a show that wasn't well written, that's a horribly <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> well, I would there imagine. There are actors who do that. Uh, some of the liveliness oh. and, and the reverence, <laughs> uh, that, that, that improv -y feel, comes from uh, Kevin's background, <laughs> South Park, and uh, the Scrappy Grounded for Life. Oh God. Scrappy. Grounded for Life, oh wait, wait, uh, I'm sorry, I, missed, I was talking. I was oh, I just, talking I missed, to it was, him, I'm sorry. It wasn't really a question, I was just commenting, no. Uh, so so that, that lively uh, feel to the writing, uh, I'm sure some of it can be attributed to you, the irreverent humor that you've got, and you know, South yeah, Park. I and so, but I think also it, it's, it's I mean, obviously, Bill and I both bring our individual things to the show, but I think we really work well as a team together. You know, South Park came after um, Scrubs did, and Scrubs was my first real network television job. Like, I'd worked for Howard Stern, you know, doing in the Farrelly Brothers before that. You know, this was the first real television writing gig, and uh, Scrubs was. And I learned how to write, basically, from Bill, you know? So, in a funny, kind of weird way, we have a very almost like, and this is gonna make him turn a little bit red. It might make, 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 make me turn a little bit red. Or it's stutter. like that, or stutter a little bit. Yeah, I, I love him. <laughs> no, it's like where he literally taught, literally taught me how to write, so it's like kind of like a father-son sort of thing. So it's, it, no, it's kind of, it's it kind of like is. a slightly older brother, younger brother. Younger brother. <laughs> Think about it. Uh, yeah. I mean, it is, like, it's beautiful that way. It's like if I- Gay trap. If I, if I, if I <laughs> You're both a little bit gay. That's from the show. You're both That's a little bit gay. You it all <laughs> I love a good callback. Um, <laughs> Kevin is um, I'm gonna turn super talented, and uh, my wife was actually the champion of this. Is that she said, you know, on Spin City, Gary Goldberg taught me how to run a TV show, you know, and how to do that. Yeah, the uh, you can clap for him. He's a good guy. That's Gary. <laughs> um, the uh, uh, and. Uh, you know, part of the deal was, I'll, I'll tell you, this, one quick funny story. Uh, it'll take about an hour and a half, but it's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, the very first year of that show, he was teaching me how to um, edit, how to talk to actors, you know, how to run a writer's room. I was 25, and uh, in my head, I'm like, this man's so nice, why is he doing all this, you know? And then about uh, six months into the first year, he said, you think you got it? And I'm like, yeah. And there's like a big puff of smoke and he was gone. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's why he's doing it. So, uh, uh, and my wife uh, was like, you know, 
Uh, we've got three children, and if you see somebody out there, a writer that you believe in that way, the, to do you know all the grunt work and get none of the credit, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, get in business with him immediately, and and that's Kevin. He is a creative force behind. Uh, hey, I'm on a paleo hey. panel. <laughs> uh, I say that because he is a creative force of the show, and this is the first time he's ever done one of these things, and it'll be the first of many. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. There you go. Wow.